Hey everyone, Brent Colby with the Northwest Ministry Network and Northwest Kids. I wanted to thank you for signing up to serve as cabin staff at your week of kids camp. It's going to be lots of fun. Now, we wanted to help you set your expectation to be, and to be as prepared as possible for your week at camp, so we created your very own cabin staff training manual. Upon completion, we realized it's quite a bit of information. So the purpose of this video is to highlight some key things that you should pay attention to as you review the cabin staff manual before spending your week at camp. We ask that each one of our cabin staffs reads the manual, signs off on it before coming to camp. There's lots of very important information that you're going to be responsible for and you're going to want to know before setting off for your week. So if you open up the manual, you'll see a table of contents and we've done our best to organize all that information. First off, you need to remember camp, ex camp exists so that kids can experience God in an unforgettable way. Everything we do is centered around three key environments. And a few years ago, we asked ourselves, how do kids experience God? How does life transformation happen? And we realized it happens in kind of three key environments. The first is in a large group or corporate setting. The second is in a small group or cabin time. And the third way that kids experience life change is having a face-to-face -face experience with God. And so we've gone out of our way to create those three experiences for your week of camp. The large group setting happens at our morning chapel environment. That's where everyone gathers together and has a time of worship, a good uh, presentation of a big idea for the day, reading of scripture. It's really lots of fun and hopefully we'll get kids thinking about their response later that day. The next environment is in a small group or cabin time. That happens with you and your kids in your cabin. We have lots of good tips and tricks on how to create a most meaningful cabin time with you and your kids. In fact, when you arrive at camp, you'll receive a packet describing all the Bible verses, big ideas, and concepts that you'll be presenting to the kids that day. Remember, it's not your time to teach or preach, it's your time to facilitate a discussion. And we've had teams working year-round to create as meaningful discussions as we possibly can. The third environment takes place at our response chapel. Every evening after dinner, we'll return to the chapel that we were at in the morning. Our speaker will get up and recap the big ideas for the day for five minutes, and then we will invite kids to respond to what Jesus is doing in their life. We'll set up a bunch of different prayer stations so they can go up front to the altar and pray, which many of us are familiar with as children ourselves. Or there's a lot of different creative areas where kids can go and respond to Jesus in a bunch of creative ways. It may not look like what you think of when you think of response time, but I assure you, kids are having a one-on-one -on -one experience with Jesus that'll change their life forever. Some other things you may want to consider on preparing to go to camp is that when you arrive, day one, what do you do when you get there? You show up, park in the general parking, and then either on the west side or east side of camp, make your way to the registration table. Please send one person from each church to register your church from camp. That's where our team will be ready to meet you, give you all the details you'll need to get into your cabin, and double check all the registration information that we have for you and your church. After that, you're off, to, you're off and running. In the packet, you'll see example schedules, lists of activities, all sorts of other things you may need to feel comfortable arriving at and setting up for camp. Often, we have cabin staff let us know that they would have liked to know in advance that other people are decorating their cabins. It's not something that we require each church to do or each cabin staff member to do, but something that adds a lot to the environment of camp. And so if you're artsy or you want to add stuff to your cabin, we would encourage you to bring decorations that go along with the theme or that go along with whatever you want to decorate your cabin. The other section in the manual that you're going to want to take a close look at uh, relates to child abuse reporting. We highlight several different types of child abuse, and in Washington State, which is where both of our camps are currently located, child abuse reporting is mandatory. If you hear of a child telling you of an account of abuse that has taken place in their life, it is required that you go to one of our camp leadership teams and let them know of the abuse. Very rarely, in fact, uh, almost never at all, has this, is the abuse taking place on camp. It's almost always a previous experience that the child has had. But still, we'd like to document those stories and make sure that we connect with the local authorities to make sure that those issues have been resolved. If you hear of any child and an experience of abuse, 
listen to the child, don't ask prying questions, and find your way to one of our uh, leadership team for camp. They'll give you the right form to fill out, and we'll just ask for you to record a very simple explanation of what you heard, when you heard it, and then from there, our leadership team will take charge and figure out what steps need to happen next. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to look at inside your manual is the expectations of behavior. Uh, to summarize it, really, we just expect you guys to have good attitudes at camp, to be very respectful of the leadership and very encouraging of the kids. Uh, hopefully, the manual is a big help to you. We think you'll really get a lot of good details in there and have the best experience you can at camp. We can't wait for you to join us as kids experience God in a life-changing way. We'll see you at camp. Mm -hmm.